managing period odor. Menstrual blood itself doesn't inherently have a strong odor. However, the smell people sometimes notice during their period is usually caused by a combination of blood, uterine tissue, bacteria, and air exposure. Here's a breakdown of what's going on. Why period blood may smell natural bacteria? The vagina contains healthy bacteria that help maintain its pH. When menstrual blood leaves the uterus and mixes with these bacteria, it can produce a mild, musky scent. This is completely normal. Exposure to air once menstrual fluid leaves the body and is exposed to air especially if it collects on a pad or is held in a menstrual cup for a while. It can start to oxidize, which leads to a metallic or slightly sour odor. Heavier flow when the flow is heavy, menstrual products may not be changed as often, allowing more time for bacteria and blood to interact and create odor. Poor hygiene or long use of products wearing pads or tampons for too long can allow bacteria to build up, leading to a stronger or unpleasant smell. That's why changing products regularly is important, not just for comfort, but for health. Infections or imbalances, a strong, foul, fishy, or rotten odor especially. If it's accompanied by itching, irritation, or unusual discharge, might signal an infection like bacterial vaginosis or a yeast infection. These require medical attention. Change pads, tampons, or cups every four to eight hours staying fresh keeps both odors and the risk of infections away. Stay hydrated drinking water helps regulate body odor and supports vaginal health. Avoid scented products. Scented soaps, sprays, or douches can disrupt the natural balance of bacteria and cause irritation. Ow. Where breathable underwear cotton is your friend, it allows airflow and reduces moisture buildup. So while some light odor is perfectly normal, especially toward the end of your period, any sharp foul or unusual smells should be checked out by a healthcare provider.